Hello guys, let's continue this complete tutorial in AutoCAD part 10. Here I will talk again about blocks, but this time I'll focus in adding attributes. It's adding text each time I insert a block. Later on I will show you how to insert a table. Ok. Now let's teach you how to add attributes to a block. An attribute definition is basically text to be stored into a block. For example, if I create a block with this box and I want to fill these blanks, I can do it by adding attributes and when I insert the block, this window appears to insert the text that I want. And then it will be displayed in the block automatically. So, to add an attribute definition, I will have to click in this arrow here and then in this icon. You have several options to edit here, but for now I will focus in the text to insert. In prompt, I write the question, and when I finish all the attributes to one block, a new window opens and they will be disposed in this way. And these are the prompts for each attribute definition. Then, this is an important thing, I will specify the text height by clicking here. I do it in the same way as the single text. I insert a line which height will be the size of the text. Here I can specify the rotation, or if I simply want it horizontal, just keep it zero. The tag is not really important what we type here, this is just what will be seen when we insert the attribute. For example, we can type the first three letters. So, the first attribute, we will place it here. Then I press enter to reactivate the previous command to insert another attribute definition and this time will be for the first line of the blank location. So I write here location address and then the tag. I click in OK and insert it there. So after this I will do the same for all the others. When I finish creating all the attributes, I will create a new block with all of them inside. I click in the icon to create a block, or I can type block. I choose a name for it. Then I pick a base point this one, and when I click to select the objects, I will click in the attributes one by one in the order that I want them to be displayed. If I just select everything with the selection window, then they will appear randomly. After the attributes, I select the objects that I want to add to the block. I could also do the reverse, select first the objects and then the attributes. I press enter and then click OK. So this window that I showed you previously opens now and I just need to write the text for each attribute. When I finish I click in OK and you can see how it looks like. Basically, if I create a block with this box containing attributes definitions, I'll be able to use it for all the projects that I make in the future. Okay, so after teaching you the essentials of creating blocks, in this part of this tutorial, I will show you how to create the table in AutoCAD imported from Excel or as a new table. 
Let's start with importing a table from Excel. If we go to our annotation panel, we can find the table icon here. If I click on it, this window will open. Here in Insert Options, I click in From a Data Link to import an Excel file. Then I click here. And as I don't have any Excel link, I have to create a new one. I click here and I can choose a name for our link. For example, Tutorial Excel Table. I click in OK. Then I choose the file that I want. This one. And I click in Open. At the same time, if I view my file in Excel, I can see that the table range is from E7 to G12. So here I click in Link to Range and type E7 to points G12. Then I click in Preview to check out how it looks like. Here you can see. Then I close these windows, click OK here, then again. Since I'm back to the workspace, I can click anywhere to insert the table. As you see, it's exactly as I have in my Excel file. Let's suppose that later I decided to change some of the values here. For example, I changed this area to 80 and this number of bedrooms here 3. I save my file and back in my AutoCAD workspace, I click in one of the cells and I can see this new ribbon opened here. And if I click here in Download from Source, this will automatically update the values that I just changed. So, as you guess, in AutoCAD, it's also possible to create an empty table. And for doing that, we go again to the table icon, and this time, I click here in Start from Empty Table. Then, at the right here, I can see two kinds of insertion behavior. If I click in Specify Insertion Point, we will have to set both text sizes and cell sizes manually. Let's start with the columns. Here, we specify the number of columns that we want. For this case, as we have three here, we will have three columns. And in this tab, we can change the column width. This represents the horizontal length of the cell. For the data, that will be a bit different. This value tells me the number of data rows that I want in the table. And that excludes the rows for the title and the header. Like in the preview, we can see eight data rows, a header and a title. This time, I leave it as five. By the way, be aware that the preview here will not look exactly to our table because it always shows here eight data rows and three columns at least for the version that I use of AutoCAD 2019. Now, the row height doesn't work the same way as the column width, as instead of setting up this height, I need to insert the number of lines that I want to fill in one cell. And actually, I will have to change my text style, which I can do in the table style here, by clicking in this icon. This is the Table Style Manager. I'm going to click in Modify, and in this window, I'll have several options to change. If
If I go to text here, I can set up a new text height. I'm going to change it to 50, for example. Then, in general, I can change the mar margins here, and the preview shows how they look like. For the horizontal margin, I set, for example, 10. And for the vertical, 20. Now, as you notice, I could only change the text size for the data. To the title and the header, I have to change the option here. I click in header and I set the same text height as for the data. I type 50. And right after, I change again the text margins. After, I go to the title and this time I type for the text height a bit more, 80. And I keep the same margins. When I finish, I can just click in OK. And finally, in raw height, I will specify the number of lines that I want to fit in one cell. As 20 is too much, and I will change it to 3, and you will see how it works. I click OK, I insert my table. Now I'm going to write something in one cell and as you see I can fit three lines here. So that's all in this part. Thank you very much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to Cut in Black to watch all the content of tutorials. Also if you need extra help I can provide online private lessons for beginners, so just send me an email and I'll give you all the details. Thank you and see you next time!